So friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about the majority career lifetime in terms of minority career lifetime. That means we want to express the majority career lifetime in terms of minority career lifetime. Now, let us assume that the majority career lifetime will be denoted by tau majority. That is, tau majority will define the majority career lifetime and let us assume also that the minority career lifetime will be denoted by tau minority. Now, for this case, first let us consider the n-type semiconductor. So for n-type semiconductor, we know that the majority carrier is electron and the minority carrier is volts. So we can say that this majority carrier will have lifetime of tau n0 that is tau n0 will be the majority carrier lifetime because majority carrier is an electron. Similarly, for the minority carrier whole, we can say that the tau minority can be written as tau p0. Now we want to express this tau n0 that is the majority carrier lifetime in terms of tau p0. For that case, we know that for an n-type semiconductor, the electron lifetime that is tau n0 can be denoted as electron concentration by hole concentration into the minority carrier con lifetime that is the whole lifetime tau p. So, rather tau p0. So, we can say that if we use the mass action law, from mass action law we can say that the minority carrier concentration that is p for the n type will be denoted as the intrinsic carrier concentration divided by the majority carrier concentration that is the electron concentration n. Now, if we put this value for p in the Formal equation here, then we can say that tau n0 will be equals to n divided by ni divided by n whole square into tau p0. If we further simplify this equation, we will get tau n0 will be equals to n by n i whole square divided by or into tau p zero. So this is the equation for the majority carrier concentration that is the electron concentration lifetime and this is the minority carrier lifetime tau p zero. So we can say that this is the minority Carrier lifetime, and this is the majority carrier lifetime. So we have expressed the majority carrier lifetime of the entire semiconductor in terms of minority carrier lifetime. So this is the case for entire semiconductor. Now if we do some further simplification, we know that for n type semiconductor, we know that for n type semiconductor, we can know that 
the doping concentration that is the donor concentration this is the donor concentration this will be very much greater than the ni that is the intrinsic carrier concentration so also we can write that the electron concentration or the majority carrier concentration will be nearly equal to this donor concentration now if we use this information in the majority carrier lifetime equation then we can say that tau n0 will be equals to nd we have placed nd in the place of n and n i will be whole square into tau p0 from this equation we can say that since the nd value will be very much greater than the n i value so we can say that tau n0 will be greater than the tau p0 we can say that the majority carrier lifetime will be greater than the minority carrier lifetime all these case are for n type semiconductor now let us consider a p type semiconductor so for p type semiconductor we know that the majority carrier is holes and the minority carrier is electron so the majority carrier lifetime tau majority can be written as tau p0 similarly the minority carrier concentration that is tau minority can be written as tau n0 now we also know that tau of majority that is tau p0 can be written as p e by n into tau n so from this equation if we put the value of n from the mass action law that is n i square divided by p so if we put the value of n here then we can find tau p0 will be equals to p divided by n i whole square into tau n0 now for p type semiconductor if the doping concentration that is the acceptor concentration is in a then na will be very much greater than ni that's why it is a p type semiconductor so also we can say that na will be equals to the total hole concentration nearly so if we use this information in this equation then we can say tau p0 will be equals to n a divided by n i whole square into tau n0 but n a is very much greater than n i so we can say that tau p0 will be very much greater than the tau n0 that is the majority carrier concentration in the p type semiconductor lifetime will be greater than the minority carrier lifetime so this equation this equation will be the majority carrier lifetime in terms of minority carrier lifetime and the relation of 
majority carrier and the minority carrier will be this one. So in this way we can calculate the majority carrier lifetime in terms of minority carrier lifetime. Thank you.